Good evening, day 17, Tuesday, May 17, 2022. Ezra, chapter 8, verse 23. So we fasted and petitioned our God about this, and He answered our prayer. The principle of fasting figures high in today's text. I could go in many directions to plumb the reaches of fasting, but my focus is on its aid to fervency in prayer. James chapter 5 verse 16 gives us a three-part formula for availing prayer. I liken this three to the necessaries of fire, if you will, heat and oxygen. The first essential of prayer is praying for the right things or praying in the will of God. Scripture calls this effectual. An effectual prayer, and this is the fuel. The second essential is praying with the right spiritual temperature or fervent, fervent prayer, which is the heat. The third is praying in right relationship the prayer of a righteous person, and that is the oxygen. Throughout much of life's journey, I have valued effectual and right relationship prayer, but I hadn't searched the power of a fervent prayer. Of late, however, I consider this to be the primary of the three components for availing prayer. Fervent prayer is not about working ourselves up emotionally. Rather, it is spiritually recognizing our need to, go, to get a hold of God. It is recognizing our desperate need of God. Dear Father, open our spiritual eyes so that we may see our desperate need of you. Help us to hunger and thirst after you. Give each of us a heart like Jacob's a heart that cries, I will not let you go unless you bless me. Genesis 32, verse 25. What is the Holy Spirit saying to you today about the Lord's protection, direction, and revelation for your life and the life of the Lefilness Church? Please comment down below your reflection, your journal. And today's uh, devotion was written by Dan Gilmore. District Superintendent, Northern Michigan. Thank you. God bless you. We'll see you tomorrow. Barangay Lefilness. Bye.